Great day everybody, welcome to Skill Up Dimension. Today we got here another video from audio software called Audacity and in today's video I would like to show you how to use echo. So let's say we got some recording. Great day everybody, welcome to Skill Up Dimension. And now let's say we want to add some echo to this. So simply you will select the part you want to add echo to so in our case i believe it's the old track so i will just highlight it and before the adding of the effect i will just trim it by Control t if you would like to know about more shortcuts just watch one of our previous videos so now when we have highlighted our selected area we can go to effect and add echo here you can see that we can set up two things delay time what is actually when the echo will start. So let's say my audio is around two seconds. So basically when I will set delay time uh, around 2.5 seconds, it will start actually after this original audio track will end. Uh, the key factor is how long the echo will sound. So that means when you will set it to 0.1, it will be just really, really short echo. Uh, but on the other side, when you will set here really huge number, let's say around two, it will sound really strange. So there you have here a manage where you can basically save your preset when you already uh, set up for you the per the perfect echo. And then after you save your echo levels and your settings, you can simply next time when it will come here again, you will just click on manage and import your echo settings. But basically, let's preview how does this sound. Great day, everybody. Welcome to Skill Up Dimension. Great day. As you could see, the new echo started after two seconds. So basically, let's set it up on some kind of normal levels. So basically, delay time is when it's starting. I believe the optimal setting for delay time is between 0.1 to 0.5 depends on how much echo you want to have how much delay time you want to have uh, and basically what you are trying to do with your echo because of course i believe there is various options what you would like to echo use uh, but let's say you would like to fake the echo that you are calling to the mountain and the echo is coming back to you so of course in this case you could set up for example one or two delay time but in other cases, I don't see the point to go over 0.5. But in my case, let's say I will set it to 0.2. And the key factor is, as I said, basically how long, how strong, how the echo sounds. So let's preview this setting. Great day, everybody. Welcome to Skill Up Dimension. Right now, the DK is really like, let's say, low, short, not too much of the N echo, but it sounds quite normal. Let's set here some kind of higher values, for example, 0.5. Great day, everybody. Welcome to Skill Up Dimension. You see, there is so much more like echoes in the background, so much more, let's say, repetitions. So basically, in my case, when I am using echo, I'm going at max from 0.1 levels to 0.5, never higher. But of course, if you want it, if you need it in your audio or video project, you can go even higher. Okay, so for me, that is quite a good levels of echo. I don't need to play with this anymore. I showed you what you can do here and what it does. Of course, you can play with it by your own to find out your best echo settings, the best possible way for your audio or your video or whatever for you are doing the echo. Okay, but before the video ends, there is one more way how you can add echo to your audio and this basically select all again go to effects and go to reverb. Here you can see again a lot of settings uh, about which we will talk in one of next videos because we will talk about reverb in another special unique video. But basically here it is, here you can add again something like echo or basically sound of ambience to your sound. So let's just listen to preview of the default settings. Great day everybody, welcome to Skill Up Dimension. And you can hear that it's really not so bad and in comparison with Eco, you have so much more what to do here. So this is why we are going to talk about this in another video. But I just wanted to mention that this is another way how you can add Eco to your audio. So, okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is all for this video. I really hope I helped you. I really hope you liked it. Uh, if you want to see more tutorial videos from Audacity, just simply hit the like button. If you want to support this channel, please hit subscribe. Or you can become our patron at the Patreon by what you can support our 
tutorial project at all. Okay, so that is really all. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and see ya at the next video. Goodbye.